All right, in my video today, I'm going to demonstrate quick tips about how you can create multi-level BOM or product structure in open bomb. So first of all, we are starting from a catalog where we would like to define all items. I use a separate catalog, so it will be easier for you to see, but again, in open bomb, you can use uh, items and save them in any catalogs. It's a database of items. So I'm adding, adding several items so we can play with this item. So let's say that's gonna be my assembly main assembly uh, and uh, I'm going to use the parts just similar to how I mark them in a graph and then it's going to be another assembly and it's going to happen to have uh, other uh, parts okay so uh, this is a database of item you can have them that's no structure in the database of items just a flat list but now I would like to create a BOM for this item. Do it very sim imp simple with the open item BOM and create BOM. So creating BOM and uh, I am using this uh, catalog PS item. So just select this catalog PS item and create bill of materials. So now as you can see when we created bill of materials this part number from the item PS000 is moved to the BOM just as a reminder you that you currently looking at the BOM of PS200 and now I can add items so let's say I am adding item as I want it I can do it through the search it probably will be easier so I can go and I can see P1 and I can add uh, P2 and I can add P3. So we created bill of materials and that's actually formed uh, the first level of the structure. Now let's uh, create another structure and we can do it separately. Let's say I would like to make a bomb for eight, well, 200. So I want to open this bomb and there is also no bomb like this. So I create this bomb. This bomb is created, the same thing, it's created and I would like to use the same catalog for this one. And as I created this bomb, I actually can repeat the same, the same thing here. So I can add item and I can start selecting. So I do have a five and I do have a six and seven. So as you can see now, we created, we created a structure, right? So as we created the structure, now uh, we can easily combine them together. Let's say I have PS4 as an assembly. Now I would like to add it to assembly A100, which is PS0. Uh, so when I am in this bomb, I can add this one and that would be PS0. So at the moment of time, I did it, wait a second, so something is wrong. So I added this PS0 already. So that should come PS0 and it should come with the PS1. So at that moment we added this assembly and as you can see in the multi-level, they already connected together, right? So what you can see is that assembly PS0 and assembly PS4, PS400 is combined together. So I am adding, actually I am adding PS0, that was the top. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I added one, that's, that's the wrong one. So I need to delete this one and I need to add item and that would be the item PS4 right so ps4 and the moment of time i added multi-level we got this connected so as you can see open one we can we can delete if you have an empty row we can we can delete the item so as you can see this is the way open bomb manage relationships so you got through the organization of item one level top level and you can always always combine them together now that was the way to connect two of them based on part number, I can also do it in place. So if I would like to add a level to 1.3 to PS5, I can add a new item immediately in this view. 
and I can put an item information here. You see there is a great function. I can generate part number right in place. I can give to this uh, description and I can save it. So as you can see, we just created a separate bill of material, separate item. I can open it with the compose.command and uh, you will get access to this bill of materials. So as you can see, all of them are available as a single level bound. So that when they combine together, we combine them together in the structure and the structure is built based on the automatic part numbers uh, connection, parent child. So uh, that was a quick video about how you can work with the multi-level bombs in OpenBOM. So I hope you like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.